In a surprising turn of events, Lake Mead, the nation's largest reservoir, has begun to see a modest rise in water levels. According to the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation, as of August 28 the reservoir stands at 1,055.2 feet above sea level, about 173.8 feet below its full capacity. The lake currently holds 31% of its storage capacity. The recent uptick comes after light rains in the region and a temporary pause in irrigation demands, which helped boost the lake by nearly one foot over the past 10 days. For a reservoir that has faced relentless declines over the past two decades, even a small gain feels significant. Still, officials caution against celebrating too soon. This short-term improvement does not change the long-term outlook, water managers note, emphasizing that climate change, prolonged drought, and heavy demand continue to threaten the future of Lake Mead. Projections show the reservoir will likely resume its downward trend as dry conditions persist across the southwest. Not everyone agrees on the causes. Some advocacy groups argue that the crisis facing Lake Mead and neighboring Lake Powell stems less from climate change and more from decades of overallocation and mismanagement of the Colorado River system. With competing demands from agriculture, cities, and power production, critics say the system has been stretched beyond its limits. For now, Lake Mead's modest rise offers a brief reprieve. But the broader challenges of water scarcity, allocation disputes, and climate pressures remain at the forefront of the Colorado River Basin's uncertain future.